Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interests of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Hey guys, it's James with Chart Guys. It is Thursday, March 16th. Gonna do my nightly video on oil. <clears throat> so oil is bouncing off this daily uptrend line here. Continuing an oversold bounce, and we have hit some resistance here on the daily 8 EMA. Uh, so, what you don't want to see is the the oil uh, price get under the low of today. So watch for that tomorrow. The low is 48.45, and then the next low of support is 48.16. Uh, what you want to do is hold this 200 EMA. Definitely don't want to lose that, and try to gain this 4 EMA to close out the week tomorrow on the daily. As for now, it's still only an oversold bounce on this oversold RSI, cooling down the RSI for potential more downside. And this is a bearish reversal candle with a big upper wick rejecting for the 8 EMA. So what to watch for on the hourly chart is on this bounce play, what oil has been doing is <clears throat> setting. So we have this low, we set a, a high here, we set a higher low, higher high, higher high here. And we are currently holding a higher low. So that's the main thing I'm watching for is to make sure that we continue to hold a higher low on the hourly chart, a, a lower low will change the trend and potentially take oil further down as this was just an oversold bounce as stated on the daily chart. So what to watch for tomorrow is this hourly candle here. We don't want to break below that, which is at 48.45. And again, that, that coincides with the low of today. And then yesterday's low of 48.16. Um, what you want to see is to regain a TCG bull cross, get back above the 20 MA and try to take out the high of this candle currently at 49.16. So <clears throat> maybe to watch overnight develop is either a loss of the low here of 48.45 or to take out this high of this hourly candle here uh, on the highest bounce attempt today at, at 48.99. So $49 psychological resistance. And what's happening is because of the daily as this TCG bear cross, and that occurred back here on 3-1, so March 1st. And once we get this TCG bear cross, you can see how much downside it has. Um, and so the daily trend, we have a TCG bear cross. Bear cross is when the 4 EMA crosses under the 8 EMA, this is the green crosses under the uh, red line. And bull crosses are when the 4 EMA crosses above the red line. So because the daily is going, in the other direction. Any bounce plays, you want to use smaller positioning size until the daily trend changes because you're playing against the trend. And on the hourly, what happens is like today, when we get this TCG bear cross here on the hourly, uh, you can see how it stalls the bounce attempt. So whenever this happens, the hourly and the daily are going the same direction and you're really fighting the trend at this point. So want to see a bull cross. What you want to watch out for and be careful for is if we do get a TCG bull cross here and rejection from the 20 MA hourly or middle Bollinger Band, then we are could head lower. So key levels to watch for are this 20 MA and the high of this candle 48.99. With the 20 MA hourly quickly moving down, we could line up here on a bounce attempt and reject or get over it on a bounce attempt and form a TCG bull cross and try to take out the high, this recent high of the bounce attempt. Red flag would be to lose the 48.45 or a rejection at the level here or at the 20 MA hourly. So if we lose this, this is a red flag, the 48.45. Big red flag if we lose 48.16. Those are the levels to watch for tomorrow on oil.
So again, the trend is in the bear's favor on the daily and on the hourly currently. So even if the hourly goes in the favor of bulls, again, use small positioning sizes as you're fighting the daily trend until the daily trend changes. Have a good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow.